Hello and welcome to my F122 driver career mode. We are back after the summer break and some big news has gone down over the summer where Oscar Piastri has left Haas for Alpha Tauri after Gunter Steiner and Piastri fell out over, over new contract talks. He was told to go mid-season and that's exactly where he has done to Alpha Tauri signing up to the Red Bull program and going the other way he's done ticked him he's been dropped after poor performances by Alpha Tauri and he's now finding himself at Haas after positive talks with Gunter Steiner over the summer let's go to the race in Belgium an immense lap from Carlos Sainz yesterday puts him in pole position. Charles Leclerc alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Perez, Verstappen, Lando Norris, and Fernando Alonso. Gasly, Brown, Magnussen, and George Russell. Tictum, Ocon, Oscar Piastri, and Albert. Stroll, Sonoda, Mick Schumacher, and Guan Yu Zhou. Latifi and Robert Schwartzman. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. So it is raining here in Spa, not the first time, but very much 2021 flashbacks happening here. We had a questionable qualifying, we had a good first lap, and then I wasn't looking at what I was doing, and we put on the hard tyres far at our final run in qualifying but it's a wet race it's like 2021 again and it's lights out and away we go as we try and find some grip as we scramble off the line we light up rear tyres and away we're going to go to the inside at turn one gain a place from the McLaren and the Red Bull as well as we nearly drop it coming out of the source as we struggle to find the grip and now this is the McLaren going side by side of this up the hill of Air Rouge side by side he backs out of it this Gasly and up in front is Verstappen and Leclerc going for it Max has just got through Sainz rather going through and now Sainz is going to have a look and we are going to try and have a little go in the background there is Max and Gasly and Wilson Perez, it was Max going wheel to wheel as we head down towards the long right hander as they approach no name corner there skipping on it further around the lap as we try and find the grip they have got an angry Dutchman right behind us as we go a little bit wide Max in control of the championship goes wheel to wheel with us we go a little bit wide, we need to drop it. There may have been a bit of contact. As we go into the final sector round, launching on. There was a bit more contact. We've gone off the track. Now we're left vulnerable to Pierre Gasly. Going into the bus stop, chicane. Max is through. Gasly's not though. And we are up into P5 by the end of the first lap. What a dramatic first lap it has turned out to be. And skipping on now to lap 7. And everyone is still going round on the wet tyres. But I think that the track is dry enough for the intermediate. Mark didn't tell me to. I just felt with the car, he was starting to struggle on the wet. And it definitely felt at the time for inches, but no one else okay, has stop made the stop. So I this could either see. be very good or very bad. But I felt the tyres were ready for the Inters, the track rather. As we come out of the pits, we are going to be in a bit of a pack. As we've come out just ahead of Nicholas Latifi in his Aston Martin. And we're going to go side by side with Latifi through a rouge. Very, very scary. But we get the job done on Latifi. We stay ahead. And now we can see where the grip lies between the wets and our intermediates. As this is Sonoda now, we're on the back of Sonoda and we're going to send it laid up the inside into the chicane. 
job done there. As now we are flying, everyone's still going on these wet tyres. And we are picking them off one by one down the inside of the Alfa Romeo of, of Joe Guan Yu. Next up, Robert Schwartzman. The track is ready for Inters now, most definitely. But no one else on the track can say. As now we are on the back, going into the long right hander. We are just going to sail all the way around the outside of the Alfa Romeo. Go to the inside for No Name Corner and we are through. And the grip we have on these Inters compared to those wets is unbelievable. We boxed on lap 7. And now only the front runners are coming through. As Paris boxes for Inters. Everyone's boxing for Inters now. They've gone, what's that, four extra laps, five extra laps. And we have done, and we are going to come out. There's George, there's Paris, there's Piastri, it's all mixed up now. And now we've come round the final corner, and we have got the jump on Max Verstappen by quite some margin. He was about five odd seconds up the road before I decided it was time for the intermediates. This is Leclerc, P3. And this smoke, this little spray, that is smoke. Leclerc is slowing down. And Charles Leclerc, the Ferrari engine, has gone bang. Max Verstappen is all over the back of us. We go a bit wide. Max is at the inside of us. We try and hold it around the outside. It is carried on the battle. All the way around, and that's Leclerc pulling off Leclerc. Taking out the, the brake marker board there in anger of his retirement. And now we're side by side. We went wide, Max is a power inside. We force him wide, Max has to back to counter that one. We need this for the championship. We're very much still on just about after the poor performances in the last couple of races in France and Hungary. But now, this is Max once again, trying to go to the outside of the bus stop chicane. We close the door. But now look, he's trying to go a bit wider to try and get the exit. But he can't do that and we stay ahead. But look in the background. We are battling so hard that Gasly is starting to catch us. And now round, poo on. And we've gone wide again and Max is seeing his chance again. We're going to shut the door. We're going to force him all the way around the outside and he has to back out and now look at Gasly. He is very much thereabouts in the background. As now here is Max, he's getting closer, he's getting closer, with Max to stop him. Around the outside he's going to try and go as we force him, oh it's contact, it's contact as we try to force him wide. He's, he's put his right tyre into her. Side pod, and now Gasly has seen a chance to go side by side with Max Verstappen. We've managed to get away. Verstappen has the exit on the racing line. Now, on to lap 20, there is two laps to go. The track has dried over quite a bit now, and it's probably about time for the dry tyres. Max goes to the outside. Max is past us. We took back into his slipstream. We pull to the inside. We go back down his inside. At the chicane, Max has gone a bit deep and he's lost out to Gasly as well. He's nearly gained one, but he's lost two. And now it's just been Gasly possibly. We've just two laps to go. We've gone a bit wide. As I was saying, the track was pretty much bone dry now as Gasly is all over the back of us as we head down and look at the speed from Max Verstappen he breaks late that Red Bull is a bullet in a straight line he's nearly got both of us he's side by side with Gasly he wants his P4 back he's to the inside there goes Gasly up the inside there's contact between Max and Gasly Gasly went deep and Max is turning to the side of him and now both of them are going to be side by side through Blanchimon and sorry through Her Rouge and that's incredible they're still side by side as we've managed to get away they're still going has the Red Bull just got ahead it looked like he might just has but Gassi laid on the brakes round the outs down the inside he tries to go he tries to hold it to the outside they're still side by side from turn one 
This is unbelievable racing between the Frenchmen and the Dutchmen. They're still side by side. Verstappen's trying to do what we did to Swartzman. Hold it around the outside and he's done it. It's a, the best part of half a lap. But Max River took Gasly. And this is the race winner. Carlos Sainz rounds the final corner to win the Belgium Grand Prix. Sergio Perez will come home for P2. But who's going to finish on the podium? Max tried everything to get past this. We held him back. And we are going to come home for a P3 in Belgium. Top job, my friend. Top job. I was a bit worried about this one at the start of the weekend, but you pulled through. Thank you very much. A great race then, and a magnificent victory here at the Belgian Grand Prix. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. at the podium you can see that red suit familiar to fans across the globe a world-class win for a world-class team Ferrari do it again Well, what a race that was then. Carlos Sainz, your race winner for the Belgian Grand Prix to kick off this second half of the season. Paris B2, we played the strategy ish in a way. The Inters were good at the start. I don't know why everyone else stayed out for so long. But we've held off Max Verstappen. We've gained a couple of points on him in the championship, not many. But we are still fifth in the championship. You can see Sainz has jumped Leclerc after Leclerc's DNF. We are 75 points behind the Red Bull of Max Verstappen. With not that many races to go. We're third in the constructors as well. We head to Monza next time out. Red Bull still on top. We are getting a bit closer to Ferrari. Ferrari very much kicking off this second half of this season in style a good win from Carlos Sainz then in very tricky conditions in Spa very much reminiscent of 2021 but this time we got some racing but we head to Monza next and I'll see you for the Italian Grand Prix next time out goodbye